What's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to cover the easiest way to build page transitions in Webflow. So from your project settings, if you navigate to the custom code tab, we're looking for the footer code section. And here we need to create an opening and closing script tag that looks just like this. And then inside that script tag, we can paste the custom code from the YouTube uh, video description. Now, the only thing we need to change in this custom code is the duration. So say once you click on a link on the page, you want an animation to occur that's about um, 500 milliseconds before the page actually changes. Well, in that case, you'd want to give it a little bit of a buffer, like six or 700 milliseconds. That way that animation has the full time to play out. So if we were to create a second um, a page transition that lasts a full second, I would do um, something like this to give it a little more time to play out. But in this case, probably 500 is good uh, for our sake. So I'll hit save and that's all the custom code we need. Now we can actually build the page transition. And we're gonna use a class called page transition when we build it out. So if I go over to the designer, um, we can start building our transition. Now, I like to basically add a transition inside one of my symbols. That way I know for sure it's going to be on every page of the site. So for that, I'll just drag in a div and any changes I make to this will be made to all of them. And then so this div, we need to give a class of page transition and that's going to be our transition. So it needs to be fixed, that way it's always in view and it needs to cover the full width and height of the screen. So width would be 100%, height would be 100VH for viewport height. And then give it a really high Z index, that way it's on top of everything on the whole page. And then usually just a background color. If we wanted this to have an animating Lottie file inside, we could or anything like that. Um, so that is our page transition and by default we probably just want to set it to display none so we can't see it by default. Um, so now from here we need to create anytime we click on one of these links or any link on the site um, we want something to happen. So for that we need to go to the interactions tab and we're actually going to apply this to the page transition div. We're going to create a new interaction that's on mouse click or tap. And then we'll apply this to the class so it affects every uh, instance of this across the site. And then on first click, we need to start an animation and we'll create a new animation. And this one's just going to be called page out. So what happens when we're leaving the page? Um, so we're going to create a couple things by default. Uh, this is going to need to be block so that way we can see it again. And we're also going to move it. Um, negative a hundred percent that way it's completely out of view and that needs to be zero seconds duration we don't need that to take up any time this is sort of like an initial state but we're not using the initial states and then we need another move state and then this will move it back to zero percent so back to how it was like I said 0.5 or 500 milliseconds is fine um, I'll use out for the easing and then we need to um, that should do the trick so I'm also going to uh, once the page loads back in probably change the opacity so my initial state for this one I'm just going to set the opacity to 100% up here at the top with a duration of zero um, and that should do the trick so yep it just slides on in and then I can hit save so that is our page out transition and that's all we had to do. So now anytime we click on a link on the site that's an internal link, that transition is going to happen. If it's an external link, that transition won't happen. Um, and then the only other thing we need to do is once the page loads back in, we want a different animation. So I'm going to create a new uh, page load animation and then this one I'll start one and I'll call it page load and then I'm gonna open it back up my nav and then this will be targeting the page transition so this time I'm actually going to use my initial states 
So I would want my opacity by default of the class to be 100% and we'll set this as an initial state. Uh, hide show by default needs to be block. And then we want to create a new one and this is going to target the opacity and we'll change the opacity to zero. Same easing out court. And then we'll set the um, sort of transition to display none. That way it's kind of out of our way. We're not going to be clicking on it, anything like that. And I'll also create a delay on this opacity fade to zero of like 0.3. Um, and then that should do the trick. So then if we publish this on the live site, we will see the change. So on the live site, our page intro is this uh, opacity fading out. If we click on any one of these, we should see the, the swipe out. If we click back to the home page, it'll swipe in and then fade out. 